Did you enjoy the story? I thought it was good. What did you think, Mrs. Janelle? It's one of my favorites, Mrs. K. I love the Llama Llama stories. I wonder if you ever got mad at your mama for things, Mrs. Janelle. You know what? I did. I think back when I was a little kid, sometimes, maybe if I was bored or my mom asked me to do things I didn't want to do, sometimes I'd get a little crabby with her. Yeah. How I about you, Miss K? Yeah, I would too. I can remember when my mom would maybe ask for my help to do something and I didn't want to do it. Then sometimes I would get crabby. Yeah. And getting crabby with my mama did not work out so good for me. No, me either. And you know what else I did a lot? Ugh. And sometimes my kids do it too. I felt like I did everything and my brother never had to do anything. I thought I was always the one helping and I kind of complained about that a lot. Yeah, I think I probably fell in that same category. And you know what else I think I did sometimes was I would whine about things. Oh, I'm I, always whining too. Yeah. Whining doesn't sound good for anybody. You know what, friends? Do you like it when somebody is whining? I don't. How about somebody who complains about things? Yeah, I don't like that either. That's no fun. It's no fun. So I'm kind of thinking right now, Mrs. Janelle, in this time when we're home and we really can't go lots of places, yeah. Sometimes our moms and our dads might be asking us to do things that maybe we don't feel like doing, or maybe our brother or sisters are left in charge of us if they're older, and they might need our help, or they're asking us to do something, and we don't really feel like it. But I'm kind of wondering if whining or complaining would help that situation or hurt that situation? Mrs. K, I don't think it's going to help anything. I don't either. It doesn't get me anywhere. I still have to do what I have to do. And like the llama in the story, the mom didn't love shopping either, but it was something she had to do. So they just decided to have fun together. So maybe that's what we can do when we're home. There's things we have to do like cleaning. Maybe you could turn on some fun music and listen to some music and dance around while you clean together. Find a way to make it fun. I like that idea. Try to bring some joy to what it is that you're doing. Try to use our growth mindset. We've talked about that before. Like what right. could make this go faster or make me enjoy this better? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe even challenge yourself. Like my mom wants me to clean up my toys in the, in my bedroom or in a playroom and maybe set the timer and see if you can beat the clock. Hey, I think coach Helmers was doing that. Trying to beat a minute unloading her dishwasher. I might try that. <laughs> I think that's a good plan. I might need two minutes. So we sometimes we just have to be realistically and then right. try to set the time maybe a little bit quicker. But then maybe say after I've done this, then you can feel good about doing something. And then maybe um, it's time to have fun with somebody in your family or just maybe doing something on your own, maybe reading a book or coloring or, you know, just sitting outside or walking your dog or playing with a pet. Yeah. There's a lot of options. There are. I've noticed in my family, sometimes it's fun to be together. And then sometimes we just need a little bit of time apart. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of time to recharge and um, just kind of be alone with our thoughts for a second. And then we're ready to be all together as a family again. That's a really good point. We don't always have to be with other people when we're at home. It's okay right. to have some just some time to yourself. That's okay. Well, this was a good book, Miss Janelle. A great book. 
I'm glad we had this time to share with the, the kids. And I hope they enjoyed this story, listening to it by the author of the book. That was kind of a fun treat. So our challenge is, what do you think? Try to do something helpful, try to be helpful. And maybe when someone's asking for your help, just try to think, okay, I can do this and then I can get back to doing whatever it was that I was doing. Right, because you know what I found? Usually it probably takes maybe five or 10 minutes and then it's done. But if we whine and complain and put it off and ugh, it ends up taking our whole day. It just makes us sour too. That's right. Plus, if we help others, I bet when we need help, they'll be more willing to help us. That's a great point. I think you're yeah. right. All right. Well, All right. we hope you enjoyed our lesson and we hope you enjoyed our little chat about our lesson. Stay tuned for some more, friends. Hope you're all well. Bye, everybody.